M0 FXB, you may have one of these budget antenna tuners here. Now it comes with a telescopic antenna that screws on here. And there it is there. And it covers, if you look here, I've taken it apart of course, all of these bands. So it's everything's a compromise, but it's showing 3.5 to 30, 50, 54, 76, 108, 117 uh, to 136, up to 74. So it's two meters, <coughs> 70 SEMS, airband, and you know, ham radio, hobby, marine band. So it's, it's quite, you know, and they're about, they're not expensive, they're about 15 pound, but of course, it's never gonna be amazing. But if you go outside and extend this, Click around, you've got connectors here that you where you can sort of tune, let's call it tuning, and flick in the different bands here. So my one, when I twisted the connection, which is the SO239 type connection, to PL259 actually, it, it broke off the wire, which just solders, just in the middle here, so it's your, yeah, hopefully you can see where it solders. We can zoom that in a bit. And it's not perfect. See if we get some light on there. It solders in the middle there, so I'll, I'll get it in there. So, so I'm just going to re-solder that back on. Just I've cut the wire back, and then we just add some solder. And then the other thing I would say is just tighten up. There's a, a nut that holds this tight. The reason it broke is because it snapped. So there's a, a nut there that I'm going to hold on to. Now to take this apart, it's not hard. So the top does just sit on like that. Okay, and then you just put the four screws in at each end. And then it does give you enough slack here to check and see if you need to, to solder anything that's come loose. Someone explain to me how they're able to achieve all this with this and this, okay? Someone let me know. Of course, QRP, it's not high power. Um, I'm not even sure if you can actually transmit. I would say if you were going to transmit, very, very low power. I'll put the link in the description. So you can see all the specs instead of me trying to guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm tinkering, got the soldering iron out here. I always just clean it with a sponge. I tend to nearly always use this flux and just any, any solder that has built-in flux. So yeah, I've soldered it on there. I'm gonna test it just to make sure there's continuity between that gold one and the wire, and then I could probably use a bicycle spanner to tighten that, because it's quite thin. So just a flat bicycle spanner. I just use my little tester, I put it into this buzzer position here and just do this. And it beeps, so if I just touch it, tap it where I want it. So, I'm just gonna tap it on the, the gold, and where I've just soldered. Quite fiddly to do on camera, and then we want it to actually beep like this, which has worked. Now we're going to find a spanner and then put the screws back in. I'll put the screws in here, look, so I don't lose them both sides. Put that on, then we'll get my 705 and just see if we get some signals. So, anyway, I've tried to tighten it, it's actually a 12 mil nut on the inside. And you could actually, if you really want to get in there and do it well, you could pull this knob off and then pull this adjuster here towards you. Right, I'm going to put it back together. Screws are back on. You can see it clicks around like that. Turns here. Antenna back on. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it don't... Careful not to twist that, basically. The SO, is it PL259? It's a funny one, that one, isn't it? Because um, you can snap off the plus 
terminal for the antenna which is telescopic. My 705 has, I've got this adapter made by Windcamp. So, and that means that you can put on a bit of weight to the antenna and it's not gonna, hopefully, if you're careful, not gonna cause any damage to the BNC that comes with the 705. At all. I mean, it's going to do fine on at the moment, I've just probably got two meters and seventy. When you're on the, the HF, one of the um, I would say you what you have to do is turn up the volume so you can hear it. Flick the top one until it gets louder, a bit like a loop. They are labelled, like it says there, 7, 8. If I leave it on 8, then tune the bottom one. Went a bit louder there, but mm, I'll try it again when the conditions seem better. So there's my just long wire connected. It's not busy to be honest, but I think it's very weak. So it's not the best time to test. It's too um, data. You can hear FT8 there. You unplug it. Plug in the aerial. I can just hear it. Let's do a bit of tweaking. Um, it's virtually nothing. Ah, there. I can just hear it. So let's try airband just before we go. Just uh, let's go to where I always know it's quite busy. Okay. Turn it up. Now there are some signals there, aren't there? actually see them that there are some there. AM. I'll turn the knob. AM. What's this? Something's around me is creating a bad signal. So yeah, not a great result. But anyway, at least you've seen this device taken apart. It's a clone, isn't it? Um, do I rate it? Not really. Bye for now.